what is the pathology of pneumonia pathologically pneumonia may be classified according to the predominant tissue involvement there is a bronchopneumonia staphylococcus aureus and lobar pneumonia there is streptococcus pneumoniae and interstitial pneumonia there is a viral or mycoplasma infection and destructive destructive pneumonia involving all pulmonary elements there is pseudomonas or heap pneumonia clinical presentation varies according to the etiology though the general features include there is preceding history of upper respiratory tract infection or exanthematous illness associated with viral pneumonia acute respiratory progressive course in the most of the case though the viral mycoplasma or a heap pneumonia run relatively gradual course <coughs> so viral pneumonia is a commoner than bacterial pneumonia in a children of all the age particularly in infant other than neonate <coughs> mycoplasma pneumonia is uncommon before the age of 5 year clinical feature for the diagnosis of pneumonia the onset of viral pneumonia tend to be more gradual than bacterial pneumonia but its generalization is by no means always true and in the infant viral pneumonia may run in a fulminating course cough tend to be dry and hacky in a viral infection and is more likely to be productive in bacterial pneumonia rusty sputum is characteristic of pneumococcal pneumonia but seldom seen in children the expectoration of any sputum tend to suggest bacterial pneumonia hemoptysis is occasionally seen in mycoplasma pneumonia and constitutional disturbance in general child with bacterial pneumonia is more till then the child with viral or mycoplasma pneumonia sign pointing to the bacterial pneumonia include fever with rigors high grade temperature and toxic flu and myalgia and headache are more common in mycoplasma pneumonia pleuritic pain is seldom encountered except in bacterial pneumonia clinical signs of consolidation as discussed above are a variable and unreliable in childhood pneumonia but tend to be best developed in bacterial pneumonia particularly staphylococcal pneumonia so in case of bacterial pneumonia there is a low bar opacity on x ray or in staphylococcal pneumonia there is a development of this pneumatocyst rupture and later on there is a empyema and pneumothorax x ray changes may be surprisingly severe in a viral pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia contrast with the paucity of clinical signs so in case of viral pneumonia there is a no clinical or radiological correlation <clears throat> in the most of the cases of childhood pneumonia the radiological signs are patchy and diffuse and do not point to the specific etiology however the lobar and segmental consolidation in typical pneumococcal pneumonia pneumatocyst are typical of staphylococcal pneumonia and pleural effusion is commoner in bacterial pneumonia rather than viral pneumonia leukocyte count is likely to be raised in all type of pneumonia mark rise particularly if accompanied by a shift to the left in granulocyte nuclei and or by toxic granulation of cytoplasm would strongly suggest bacterial infection how to diagnose pneumonia direct detection of organism on smear or culture or pcr from the body fluid that is sputum gastric aspirate 
bronco alveolilavage and pleural fluid an indirect serological investigation for viral or atypical pneumonia there is a mycoplasma pneumonia what is the x ray finding and its probable diagnosis if there is a lumbar consolidation mostly it is pneumococcal pneumonia if it is pneumatocele and abscess there is a staphylococcal and klebsiella the large effusion the etiology of streptococci and emphysema and pneumothorax empyema and pneumothorax the probable etiology is staphylococcus aureus and a ground glass appearance there is a interstitial there is a viral or mycoplasma etiology if there is a midiary motor link on x ray it suggests tb pcp and tpe and upper lobe consolidation there is aspiration and capsula in etiology and lower lobe consolidation the etiology there is a foreign body i in case of bacterial pneumonia it is less than 5 year it is acute onset there is a high grade temperature and there is a toxemia and the cough is productive lung signs are present there is a crepitation and on x ray there is a lobar opacity while in case of vi viral pneumonia the age is less than it is less than 5 years and in serious onset and seasonal pattern present it is more common in winter and the fever less common plus minus cough is a dry hacking cough despite while productive in case of bacterial pneumonia and the lung sign there is a mild x ray chest there is a interstitial opacity there is a perihelial region while in mycoplasma pneumonia age it is more than 5 year in serious onset there is a no seasonal pattern fever it is mild one cough is a dry and hacky and the lung sign there is a mild lung sign there is a wheezing or <clears throat> on x ray there is a pleural effusion in case of mycoplasma pneumonia anti microbial therapy in pneumonia empirical therapy on a opd basis and empirical therapy on a hospitalized case so in empirical therapy on a opd base when the age is less than 5 year the choice oral therapy amoxicillin and cotrimoxazole or chloramphenicol while age more than 5 years the choice of therapy oral there is erythromycin azithromycin or clarithromycin by empirical therapy in a hospitalized case there is if the children age less than 3 month there is a aminoglycosides with ampicillin or cefotaxime if the age group 3 to 12 month there is antibody choice ceftriaxone and cefotaxime if the age group 1 to 5 the choice of therapy in hospital there is a penicillin g and cefotax sign if the baby's children age is more than 5 year the choice of therapy cefotax sign or erythromycin oral empirical therapy in a nosocomial pneumonia iv ceftazidine or ceftriaxone with aminoglycosides organism specific iv and oral if there's a streptococcal pneumonia the choice of therapy penicillin g cefotaxime or ceftriaxone if the staphylococcus pyogenes there is a penicillin g if there is staphylococcus aureus cloxacillin and vancomycin in h influenza ceftriaxone or ampicillin or chloramphenicol in mycoplasma pneumonia choice of therapy erythromycin azithromycin and clarithromycin in pseudomonas b negative pneumonia the choice of therapy ceftazidine and piperacillin plus aminoglycoside and e coli in klebsiella pneumonia the choice of therapy cefotaxime 
and amino glycosides.